Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt With Nat and Jack, I'm Natalie. Welcome to my home. I've been talking about doing my home warmer review, my home fragrance review. So what better way to start than the front of the house? I just went out to get the mail and I said, well, let me start right out here. So you can see the front of my house a little bit. That's my granddaughter, Axel. So this is the front of my house. This is the front door. And welcome to my home. Juliana, come on. Axel, Jack, let's go. Jumper. Axel. So I'm going to start from the beginning. When you first walk in, this is like my foyer area, but we're going to start in Axel's playroom because she's the first room when you walk in. So this is Axel's playroom. And in her playroom, we have Cinderella carriage. That's one warmer. And then I have the wallflower from Bath and Body Works. That one's old. I have it for a long time. And then I got our July warmer of the month. And it's Desert Wonder. I think I'm saying it right. Don't quote me. It's, I know the word desert's in there, and I think it's Desert Wonder. So when I ordered this warmer, I saw this table and I thought, oh, that table is perfect for this warmer. So I bought this table off Amazon. If anybody wants to know um, the site, it also comes in like all, all turquoise blue, which I really love too. But I thought with the warmer, this one looked the nicest and on this, um, on the floor in here. So I have two warmers in Axel's room because I'm getting stuck underneath the plant. So I have two warmers and a wallflower in this room. And this is Axel's playroom. Then my dining room. And in my dining room, is my summer rain warmer as the centerpiece on my table because I just love, love, love this warmer. And I have the blue bulb in here. And uh, my friend Stacy bought it from me and too, and she put the purple bulb in there. I love the purple too. And then I have over back here, that's the acute copper warmer. It was on sale in our clearance and Drew called me telling me I had to get this warmer, what a great throw it was. And you know, I was like really iffy because in the picture, I wasn't crazy about it. Well, in person guys, this warmer is gorgeous. It was $20 on clearance and I bought four of them to put away as birthday gifts. And I did give one just to my cousin for her birthday that just passed. That's one of my homeworks candles. I love homeworks. I love the candle holders, not crazy about the candles. Okay, that's my dancing petals warmer. Along the beach warmer. And I have a tea light in here. So those are, that's what I have going in this room. And then over here, I have the Stargazer Warmer, Sensi Stargazer Warmer. And then this warmer, everybody who comes always asks where I got this one. I got it on Amazon. It changes colors. And we'll come back to the family room on our way down to the bedrooms. I'm gonna hit the kitchen next. I have a tea light here. 
I have a wallflower. And if you could see my knobs in my kitchen, they're all beachy with seashells. And some of them are seahorses and starfish. Um, yeah, like these are starfish. So it's very beachy, very beachy in here. And then I got this black copper warmer and I can't remember where I got it, it's old. And um, I don't always have everything lit either, guys. I only lit mostly everything so I can show you. I do have my warmers lit, but not always the tea lights. That's my grateful, thankful, blessed. And I got the stand at, I think, TJ Maxx or Home Goods, one or the other. And then I have along the sea floor here. And I have the Sensi stand with it. I wish we did more stands. I really do. I don't know why they don't do more stands. Then I have, this is from Bath and Body Works. And this is about literally about 25 years old, honestly. I put that away after the summer's over to put Christmas decor out. But I love this. It has sand and seashells and succulents in there. I have the pineapple from Bath and Body Works. And we just fed the koi fish outside. That's why we have blueberries and grapes out. Because we just cut them up and put them out there for our fish. And then, um, oh, when I tell you guys when I empty candles, I save. Like, here's my rainbow confetti. And I keep pens and pencils and markers in there. And... Over on my kitchen table, I have the rustic garden alongside the little garden warmer and the aloe plant warmer. So this is how I have the kitchen table set up like that. And then I got from Bath and Body Works a couple months ago, the castle, the sand castle warmer. Well, I had this underneath plugged in by my counter and I didn't realize till last night it has a little projector on it and it projects with a beach umbrella and it says beach days or beach day and I didn't even know it did that till I was going to clean underneath the cabinet last night and I'm like wait a minute why do I have it here I can't even see it at night when the sun goes down there's no light that is so bright it looks so beautiful in my kitchen that it reflects like that, I would absolutely buy another one. If I see it and I have a coupon, I'm getting another one of these because I love it. And it's such a great gift. I would get a few of these for friends. They would love that. Oh, see, now the sun just went in and you can see it. You see it, Axe, where it says beach day on the wall? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, this is my kitchen. Now we're going to go into the game room. This is where I film when I'm filming. And in my game room, this is the Walmart hot plate. And I know Drew was telling me a couple of people are saying their wax is forming in the corners and not melting. I'm not having that problem unless I, I have if I put too much wax. So I don't put more than two cubes and two cubes is enough. If you put more than that, it's going to get stuck in the corners and not melt. And then I have this candle holder is from Bath and Body Works uh, two years ago. And I have a Yankee candle, pink sands going. I do not always have the candles lit. Only in my kitchen I like to light a candle in the morning when I wake up. I only have everything lit to do my home review. But if I have company in a dinner party, I do pretty much light everything up. That's my chromatic. And I have that on a homework stand. That's, these are my angels from my friend Jen. And that'll always stay here. And then I have my angel um, tea tart warmer with the angels. I did have this in the kids' bathroom, um, but I like it in here right now. When I go to decorate my fall table, that's probably gonna go back into the kids' bathroom. I have my diffuser. 
and those are my oils and this is the diamond crush or crush diamond diamond crush i think it's called again on a homework stand and then um over here i have the glimmer and shining glimmer it's glimmer and something it's still available on our sensi website and this is shining that's a 40 watt and i love 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 this so that sits like that on that mantle and there's the table that you always see behind me then over here on the bar i have my crock and right now i have banana bunt cake in there and i plug it in underneath and then over here you'll see like i have can like these are just some candles that are like red that i'm done burning and are ready to go into the crock when the banana one doesn't have a scent anymore then i have here the um my scentsy with the pods in it starts with a palermo i'm not sure what it's called it starts with a p but I put pods in there, so like once a month I change the pods out. I don't even know if this is on. Is this on? Oh, I didn't even have it on. I must have, I must have unplugged it and plugged it back in and forgot to turn it on. And then I have um, the mason jar warmer. That's a 40 watt too. And I think that's it in here. Oh, no, it's not it in here. I also have a lamp, a candle lamp over here. So I have berry waffle cone in there. That's from Candle Warmers. And I have that on this table. Okay, so this is the game room. Now we're gonna go into the guest bathroom that I always tell you guys with my empties, I do single wicks. I don't want anything plugged in because I don't want wires in here because there's not a lot of room and I don't want any cords going. So this candle, I, this is the one candle I do light every day when I'm home is a single wick in here. And then I have a Bath and Body Works wallflower. I have a flower that I painted, I markered with pink, and then the peppermint pink mint. Pink, no, pink sugarberry mint spray. And then I keep in here a circle, a scent circle. In all the garbages, I have a scent circle. And so this is, this is the guest bathroom. Then we're gonna go down to my laundry area. My laundry area, I keep on the go with the pots in it, right on top of the clothes dryer. It's perfect for this little small, because the area is small in here, so it's perfect. You can always smell it. Well, when they're strong ones, like taste toasted acorn. Yes, oh my God. Bonfire Beach, most of them I put in. The pods work really, really good in that on the go. Not for a big area though, but we take that when we go to hotels. Like when we go down to Atlantic City, we take the on the gut with the pots. This is my home office. And in my home office, I have another candle warmer lamp that's always on. And then we have, um, I have a candle lit in here, but I don't, oh, I don't have the candle lit all day. When my, when I start to not smell my wax anymore, like, you know, at night or end of the day, this is my one warmer. That's my star warmer that I got for sales in Scentsy. And then I have the bubble. This is our June warmer. That's the bubble iridescent. Ax, one minute, babe. Don't do that, honey. One minute. That's the bubble iridescent. And when the wax, I don't smell it anymore at the end. Cause I normally put them in like maybe seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So by six, seven, and eight, if I'm not smelling it, 
I'm not replacing it. I'll light my candle if I'm sitting in here still working. And then I also have going my diffuser. That goes 24 hours a day. I always have my diffuser going in here. I keep my gallon of water. That's my Scentsy empties that I need to do. It's overflowing. And then we're gonna go to the basement. Axe basement, you wanna go? Come on. Now we're gonna walk downstairs into the basement. Oh, hi, Mango, my cat was stuck down there. So this is the basement. When I tell you guys I warm samples like that we get from the vendors, most of the time I take a sample and I put it down here. I have this all like beachy. So down here, I don't have much, um, unless I'm having company and they're all coming to hang out down here. Right now I'm stacking um, baby things for my friends that are, gonna have a baby and I'm give, they're coming here to pick stuff up. So I put it all down here when they get here to come pick it up. So I only have down here the one warmer. It's my when life gives you lemons. Okay, this throws right through this, through here into my garage and I'll show you that. So that's my one warmer down here. And then I have two wallflowers, this wallflower and this wallflower that I always keep with fresh um, wallflowers in it. And I have a Sensei flower down here. And Axel with her big bear. So this is, this is the basement. And that warmer, that warmer scents, when I have a good strong wax in there, you can smell it going out here. I can open that upstairs door to the main area. And I, as soon as I open that door, I can smell what I have warming down here. And when I pull into my garage, right here, when I pull into the garage, I smell what's going on down in the basement. That's how I know it's a good wax. So that's the basement. So we covered this end. Now we're going, come on, Mango, you're gonna get stuck again down here. Let's go. It's almost time to eat, come on. Okay, so then here is my family room. And in my family room, I have a hot plate from Candle Warmers. I just bought this one and I'm thinking of switching that out for that and maybe using that somewhere else. I don't know. I think I like that better in here. And then I have the purple bubble. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's a bubble warmer. The one in my office is the bubble iridescent. This is a bubble something else. I don't know. And then I have Homework's Beach Bonfire going in here. I don't always have this candle lit. I only lit it you know, if I have company or because I was doing this tour for you guys, but I don't always have that lit. These are the animals and the babies. This is the succulent warmer I just got with the special that's going on right now. Um, I think tomorrow's the last day. That was $50 with five free bars. They also have the little garden. They have a country watering can. And um, I'll show you the other one. This is my angel wings. This is, I just got from Candle Warmers. I love that. And then this is the other one Scentsy has. That's like our basic warmer. It comes in black and it comes in gray. And that's my fireplace there with those warmers on it. And now we'll go down to the bedrooms. Oh, I have the mini star warmer right here. I don't have many mini plug-in warmers. I, as a matter of fact, I have, but I don't put them out because I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like dealing with them. They're not as easy to stick in the freezer like I do the with the warmer dishes. This is Axel's bedroom. In Axel's bedroom, I have Sensi's cloud warmer that throws so good, that cloud warmer. 
And I have the Llama. That's from Candle Warmers. Another excellent warmer. Then here's our birthday cake warmer. So I put this out like Axel's birthday is in March. So that's on my kitchen counter the whole month of March. My daughter is November. That's out in November. Like if I have friends and I have birthday dinners for my friends, I pull this and put it on the kitchen counter and plug it in um, as a birthday theme. I have the letter board warmers. And I like, like, say that's the last birthday I had here was three of my friends in March. They were all March birthdays, so I did one big dinner party. Um, but it'll say happy birthday, Axel, and sit in the foyer where you just saw, like, the sunflowers. I'll have it there, right in the middle. And it'll say happy birthday, Axel, or whoever's birthday it is. And... So that's the birthday. Oh, and then when I have house parties, which I'm not doing anymore, I do um, like the last party I had was in March and it was my friend Val and we named it um, Spring on the Beach Party. So I made that the centerpiece on the table where I displayed all the Scentsy stuff. So um, I think that's it in your room, Ax, like for warmers. Okay, oh. And then I use the, um, I tell you guys how I empty, I freeze and clean out the candles sometimes. So this was the strawberry glazed cupcakes. So I keep all Axel's little bracelets and necklaces in this one. Oh, and then I have two here that I keep also hair bands and ponytail holders. So that's what I do with candle holders when they're done sometimes, if I remember and don't trash them. And now I'm gonna walk into the guest bedroom. So this is the guest bedroom. And in the guest bedroom, I have in here from Candle Warmers, a candle lamp. I have salted ocean air in there right now. So I love my lamps. And then on the dresser, I have Take a Stand Warmer. It's an element warmer. And the Alabaster Warmer. Patricia Gates always talked about this warmer, of what a great throw. And they were on the clearance, so I bought one, and I love it. She's so right. Oh, my God, the throw is so good, if you ever see that. Warmer, I highly suggest you get it. So this is the guest room. Now we're gonna go into my daughter's room. This is Jacqueline's room. And in her room, I have the love warmer. I have a candle going, but again, I'm only have it going for the filming. I don't normally light that unless we have company and I'm lighting everything up. And then I have the Keep Going, Keep Growing that Sensi sent me for sales. And that's my daughter's christening dress and invitation. My aunts, whenever anyone is having a baby, they take the dress, they have it preserved at the dry cleaners, and they bring it up North Jersey to someone and he does the invitation. Any boxes, it's preserved. I mean, she's 22 years old, gonna be 23. It is still, like if she has a baby girl, she could take it out and use that. This warmer, don't ask me where I got it. It was the actually the very first warmer I ever bought and somebody had a party of some kind and I bought that and it's still, it's still working. So this is Jacqueline's room. And then we're gonna go into the kids' bathroom. And in the kids' bathroom, again, I just don't want cords all over. So I do a candle or I do that angel tea light, which I'm probably gonna switch back because I have the turtle out because it's summer. And I have a wallflower. I have a scentsy flower and a blue grotto spray. I have a scent circle. 
And we're going to go into my room. This is my room. And in my room, oh, over here, I have the um, Bath and Body Work. This is the one, I don't know what it's called, this wallflower. It's the one you regulate, medium high. So I know a lot of my subscribers, friends, fellow YouTubers have cats. I have this over where my cat litter box is, and it works excellent. Drew told me to get that, so I got that. I have a tea light. I have candle going. I have the mended warmer. I love that warmer, especially in this room. It has all, like, you can't really tell, but it has the colors to my walls. I did my walls in like a stone, if you could see it with glitter. Because when we pulled the wallpaper down that was in this room, the sheet, some of the sheetrock came with it. I'm like, no way am I re-sheet rocking it. So I did this stone paint. I got it Lowe's. Um, let's see. Then I have a hot plate warmer. And then in my bathroom. It's the it's my vanity is small in here. So I just have a wallflower and a flower. And I have a scent circle. Oh, a fill in. I have a scent circle in there, but that's plenty in here. Just the flower and the wallflower because I have warmers in here going, which of course leads into the bathroom. So it's all good. So this is my room. Um, all right, Sonia. And I think I just showed you guys everything. Yeah. Uh, and then in my closet where I keep like my linens and stuff, I keep, here's like my pillowcases. Like here's pink sugar berry mint. Um, the pink sugar berry mint, um, Sensok. They go on sale starting Friday. 10% off everything in the catalog, so I definitely need more scent socks. And I keep a scent sock on my um, towels, but I keep a lot of my candles are up there, so you open this up and it smells so good in here anyway. But I love keeping it on my um, pillowcases because I change my pillowcase every night. So I love to put the pillowcase on and put my face on the pillow and I could smell the pink sugar berry mint. I had butter pecan on there. Oh my God, I love the butter pecan on my pillowcases. And um, so that's it, guys. This is my, my. I think I showed you everything. I feel like I forgot something, but I don't. I didn't forget anything. Um, this is an update from my October fall warmer review. And then I'll do another one at Christmas time because I didn't do one at Christmas. Um, thank you so much. Welcome to my home. I hope you guys enjoyed our little tour. And it's time to feed the animals because they're all hungry. And I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless. And thank you for coming to my house. You're welcome anytime, guys. Love yous. Bye.